Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I got a brand new 2018 Ford Mustang Shelby GT350R in black <clears throat> that I'm getting ready to detail. Sorry about the uh, crazy noise. They're grinding tree stumps and stuff next door. Now I have absolutely purchased I purchased uh, an F-150 from Brandon Ford. Um, I don't necessarily have anything bad to say about them. I don't know that they're the best option. Um, I don't know that they're not. So anyway, this one was purchased at Brandon Ford. And it's got a little bit of stuff this here and there. Nothing crazy. Got a little bit of swirl marks and whatnot. That's going to happen on black. So the plan is I'm going to use uh, Infinite Finish because it has the primer in it for Force Field Pro and Infinite Force Field. And then after that, I'm going to apply Force Field Pro. I'm also going to do interior Force Field on the interior, all the plastic stuff. Look at these Recaro seats. Man, those are nice. I need some of those. You got the uh, rear seat delete. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. It It's not an option on the 350R to get rear seats. It comes without them. Um, I think Ford Motorsports will sell you the matching rear seat. However, it doesn't come with it just for weight savings and whatnot. I mean, this is a, basically a street legal race car, so... If I'm not mistaken, I think it's around 550 horsepower, but I'll have to, <clears throat> I'll do some research on that. But she's a beaut for sure. Anyway, I'm going to get started. But I just want to give you guys a glimpse of what it looks like before I start. It came here with some swirls on it. It came here with random smudges everywhere you can see all this crap whatever that is so here we go all right i'm here cranking away on this gt350r <clears throat> i have polished the whole thing with the uh harbor freight da and infinite finish it looks amazing. See all the gloss, the clarity in it. Got rid of most of those swirls that were in it. Uh, this detail, I'm not focusing on paint correction, so there may be still some smaller stuff left. However, um, I do believe I achieved another level of gloss that this thing did not have. Um, I hand polished the wheels because there were some nasty scuffs and stuff and some buffer marks somehow in some areas. So I'm really cranking along on this thing now. I've got probably another um, hour or so to go. As I said, I've already polished it. I washed clay bar and then... I hit it with stripper juice on the whole passenger side just to see, um, you know, if, if any foul play, if you will, ha you know, happened at the factory or whatever, see if I could find any buffer trails. And fortunately, I didn't see a whole lot. Um, there were some issues in the rear quarter over there, but I'm not real worried about that. I took care of it. You can see it's pretty much swirl free right there um but got the wheels and the brakes all clean really nicely now he brought this straight from the dealership to me so it wasn't like i had to remove a ton of you know grime from this thing but um but i'm still working on uh basically with infinite finish it has a priming catalyst in it it's a primer for uh, force field pro or even infinite force field if you are using the consumer version so force field pro 
I'm about to apply now. You apply that with a dual action polisher and a um, what now is the red pad uh, or white or black, whatever color applicator pad you have. Um, I'll be selling the new uh, red pads. I, I got videos coming up for um, switching, switching uh, not manufacturers. Buff and Shine is the best, period, on the planet. So I'm going to keep them, but I'm, I'm going to a different one of their lines. Um, their closed cell structure uh, pads. I'll get to those soon. The cutting is the blue, the polishing is the orange, and then the red is the finishing. So we're going with that. And uh, that's basically it. So now I have to apply the Force Fill Pro, which I said uh, applies with uh, a dual action polisher on speed three to four. And so that's where I'm at now. I'm getting ready to knock that out and then we'll be back with the finished product. Uh, I'm gonna apply Force Fill Pro to all the paint, all the glass, and the wheels. The wheels will have to do some stuff by hand. Uh, not complicated. I'm gonna shoot a separate video on that. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys, you know, a little bit of a taste of what's going on here with this awesome, awesome car. And uh, makes me very happy to have this caliber car in my garage. So I'm going to stop yapping and get to work. Let me tell you what, if it ain't bad enough that they put tire snot on all the tires at every dealership I've ever been to, they sprayed that snot all in the engine bay. It is horrible. Look at this. Let's see if I can get you to focus. There we go. Look. Snot everywhere. Look at this. Oh, God. It's everywhere on everything. Dust, grease, dirt, everything sticks to that snot. Oh horrible you know what the problem is if most people didn't like it they wouldn't do it i can't believe people like that shit but that's just me personally i'm not a fan look at this it's everywhere god all right well i am going to wipe it all off because it's gross i don't like it and uh, I would hope that any respectable person wouldn't like it. God, I don't know, I shouldn't say that. If you like it, it's okay, because that's what you like, that's your opinion. However, my opinion is, it is poop. That's how politically correct I will be for you, after having said all that other stuff. You know, if you like snot all over your stuff, do it. Bring it to me so I can bitch about it and then you can pay me to remove it. That's fine. Anyway, bottom line is I got to get it all wiped off and after the snot is gone, whatever it is, we'll leave a decent looking um, finish behind. Hopefully. So... I'm going to get that rolling, but I just wanted to complain. Just felt like I needed to. Tire snot on your engine bay is a bad deal. All right, 2018 Ford Mustang GT 350R looking amazing. So we got, uh, I washed it with the Grip Launch soap, which will be available April 1st, 2018. Then... Obviously, I dried it, and then I polished it with uh, Infinite Finish, and then after that, I coated it with Force Field Pro. If your detailer did not put the Force Field Pro sticker in your car, it is not official. This vehicle was protected by Gary Dean's Force Field Pro acrylic coating. And then there's the information, Gary Dean, that is me, the installer, and the date is today. Interior got interior force field all over, all the plastic parts. Are you a YouTuber? Vacuumed it out. I am. <laughs> Detail juice. Can I be on YouTube? Sure.
<laughs> All right, watch the car, guys. Watch the car. I have tennis balls. Awesome. All right, that was interesting. Anyway. She's all good to go. They're gonna put it on the trailer now and take her home. Brakes, everything, got Force Wheel Pro. That is the brand new Tough Tire Gel on the tires. It looks amazing and it is uh, dry to the touch, which is what you want. Not sure why my camera won't stay in focus. I applied Force Wheel Pro very heavily on the front end so there is just minor streaking which it will self level and if not force field boost uh will handle it but I, I did a lot of extra product on the whole front end just to make sure that we were good to go uh give it some extra scratch resistance and some uh rock chip resistance so here we go All right, Gary Dean signing off. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. If you guys need a detail done or you need some kind of uh, advice on something you're gonna buy or, or a recommendation or you need my products, any of that, 813-846-4406. You can also use detailjuice at gmail.com or Gary Dean Detailing at gmail.com. Let me know if I can help you in your detailing endeavors. Sorry, I just caught the thing on the, the little lanyard deal. Anyway, if you need me, let me know. Check out detailjuice.com and thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.